Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Thursday, 19th of the November 2020. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar and see what are the uh, pairs that are very good to trade. So let's just swipe down towards today's date. There you go. We got some data, as you can see, that had been published uh, already. Some of the that, some of this data were from Australia, like unemployment rate and, of course, um, employment change. Those two are uh, data that have a high impact on markets. And as you can see, unemployment rate were worse than expected, but better than the last month. And the unemployment change has jumped significantly towards 178,000 uh, people. So. Uh, this uh, kind of data looks good for the Australian dollar, so we will do the technical analysis of, of the Australian dollar soon. Then, in 10 o'clock, we got um, uh, ECB President Christine Lagarde to, 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 to deliver a speech. Uh, it has a high importance, mm, and uh, I think yesterday he had a uh, speech as well. So the whole week is about different speeches from different officials mm, from... Uh, Bank of England, ECB, FOMC, uh, Reserve Bank of Australia, and and um, this kind of um, this, uh, this kind of uh, official. So it's important to keep an eye on it. Another speech, twelve o'clock from Christine Lagarde, and then we got some data from from the Canada ADP non farm employment change half past three Canada, but it's not kind of a, that much important. It's just only for those people who are really interested in the uh, job markets, uh, labor market in, uh, in uh, Canada. Then we have unemployment claims, continuing claims, Philadelphia Fed manufacturing index and a speech from Loretta Mester. All of this data will be released including the speech at half past three. Those data are from, of course, uh, uh, United States. Then we got some uh, data uh, regarding the uh, uh, existing home size and leading index. Those are data um, uh, of, of the homes of the, of the building industry. And then, of course, we got another speech from Christine Lagarde, three speeches today from Christine Lagarde, and then Isabel Schnabel will, will deliver a speech as well. We end the day with another speech from FOMC member Loretta Mester. So, not that much uh, data uh, to be released today. The, the most important data, economic data, uh, had been released uh, already from Australia. There is some, uh, some data to be released uh, from uh, uh, from the United States, of course, and plenty of speeches. So it's like a it's like an interesting Thursday, but uh, you know it's better it's better always to keep an eye on what, what is going on generally in the context because we might get a little bit confused uh, after all of this uh, the, the speeches. So uh, and the impact their impact on the financial market. So it's better always to um, to uh, keep uh, keep the eye on the, on the. Uh, on, on the current developings. So I think we should take a look on the Australian dollar, Euro dollar uh, for sure. And let's see uh, on the crude oil as well to, to, to see what was going on there. So let's just uh, switch to uh, uh, Australian dollar. Let's just take a look. As you can see, despite all of this data, despite all of this uh, speeches, recent speeches from the Reserve Bank of Australia officials and stuff. Um, not much happened uh, on the daily time frame chart because we are still under the influence of this this uh, shooting star. I guess this it looks like a shooting star, a, another shooting star uh, candlestick uh, pattern. So let me just let me just uh, copy that. We got first shooting star here, then we got another shooting star. We tried to rally towards seven thousand three hundred forty six uh, pips, but nothing happened. No. Uh, no breakout. Moreover, we got some um, some some kind of a, a candlestick that tells us the markets are on the side. I mean this candle. Yeah, we go up and then go down. We go down and then go up and we close close the candle very very near the near the um, open price. So a lot of confusion and uh, market participants not quite sure what to do whether they they should break above this uh, line or go lower as you can see momentum is strong momentum is positive but we are trading um, somewhere almost in the over 
uh, overbought uh, zone. So please pay attention uh, on to this level 7,346. If the, the bulls are not able to break above it, then we will go lower. And those are the levels um, of the nearest levels of the support on a daily time frame 7,244. 7223 and 7158 pips so please pay attention to this uh these developments uh okay let's take a look at the new zealand dollar and at the new zealand dollar as you can see we are approaching we we got even hit the key technical resistance zone 6941 has been hit the high was 6942 so one pip higher and uh, currently we are pulling back from this level so very very important to keep an eye on this as well uh, just as in the case of the australian dollar this is the key su um, supply zone uh, and uh, if the bulls want to go higher they need to break break above it so uh, right now we don't need this this line uh, the technical, uh, the intraday technical support is uh, 600, uh, 6875. So this is that line. And if we are trading below this line, especially if there's a daily close, then more likely we will go lower. Please uh, keep an eye on this zone. If there's any kind of a candlestick a pattern that is a, a reversal pattern, if there is, it's a very strong signal of reversal on the New Zealand dollar. As I said, uh, Euro dollar as well. We will take a look before all of this data from uh, United States and speeches from Lagarde will be delivered. Very interesting, very interesting uh, price uh, price action here. As you can see, let me just drag it here. Uh, we got these two candles on a uh, Euro dollar and those candles looks like a, a pin bus for sure, but they look kind of a kind of a shooting starish let me say anyway we can see bearish pressure here around the level of 1.1882 somewhere there uh, if the price goes above this level it's just momentary and then it get uh, pushed lower uh, it, that was the 17th that was the 18th of the november and uh, wednesday tuesday both days and that lower and even yesterday we got this red close of the candle today we dig a little bit deeper but we still are above this this trend line let me just uh, show you the whole uh, context of this analysis so you can see yeah we are trading right now we are we are trading uh, this trend line uh, breakout so if those two candles look like a kind of a shooting star kind of a uh, dodgy candlesticks both of them are a reversal candles and we should expect uh, right now decrease towards this uh, trend line of course this, this blue one and then maybe if we break below this uh, trend line then the 50 percent of the fibonacci retracement of the whole move up will be tested again on the other hand if this is uh, invalidated that means if there is a close candle, uh, like a daily uh, daily candle close above the high, unfortunately it's a level of 1.1842, then this signal, this uh, pattern is invalidated and we are going higher towards 1.1915 and then even 1.2013. Uh, so please keep an eye on this uh, euro dollar uh, as well so we know what is going on and uh, uh, at the end of our uh, analysis let's just uh, take a look what I said a crude oil crude oil there you go not much has changed despite the data for yesterday of the uh, crude oil inventories we got some spike up but again we can see uh, upper shadow of this candle of the yesterday's candle there is some upper shadow here so we can say this is a shooting star again so any um, any price uh, movement and the market movement above 4173 uh, 4178 ends up with uh, bearish pressure bearish pressure bearish pressure and we are not even in the main supply zone yet because the supply zone is between 4307 and 4385 so please pay attention on the current developings because right now the market is going up fine on the nice 
momentum fine but we are under the bearish pressure every time let me just put this this level on 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 screen every time the price gets above 41.78 every time we get above this level the the bearish activity increases and we have a pressure as you can see as you can see here all of this there is no uh, daily candle close above 41.78 so that's a kind of important today of course the day has not been uh, 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 closed yet so the, the candle has not been uh, properly made we are still have more time for this candle to develop so please pay attention on the crude oil above 41.78 if there is like a very nice spike like here towards 43.7 then bulls are back in control of this of this market and the bearish pressure has been invalidated so we can hit the 43.85 if not then most likely we are going to get um, increased bearish activity in this zone so that's everything from me for today i hope you guys like it and i hope i see you tomorrow with another mm, technical analysis video please remember uh, tomorrow is friday the last day of trading so it might be uh, interesting so thank you very much for watching this analysis and see you guys next time Bye bye